charges. So you would be doing this with someone who has, um, who you have already been ambulating out of the parallel bars <coughs> with a, uh, uh, from the swing through gate, you've gotten them to a swing through gate, and um, <coughs> so now you want to get them, uh, you want to teach them how to get up with the braces and crutches so they don't have to, they don't have to have a set of parallel bars in their house to get up, okay? So, <coughs> to someone who has been, um, been, uh, uh, had braces, bilateral long leg, bilateral long leg braces with drop ring and knee locks, the pelvic band with hip locks, okay? So, <coughs> the first thing, that the person has to do is get their feet on the floor so they come forward to the edge and if they were here okay they come forward to the edge go into a sacral sit position and at this point um they can um, hook their they can do one of two things they can hook their hand around and get their leg off or um at this point some people if they're in that sacral sit position and their armrest is on, they can do that. Get it off and then swing that foot pedal out of the way. Okay? Um, and they can take this one off and swing this foot pedal out of the way. Okay? Now, um, at this point, knees are unlocked, hips are locked. Uh, hips are unlocked. So what they're going to do is now come forward, lock the knees. Okay? They come forward to the edge of the chair and get one leg out, lock the knee. Get the other leg out, lock the knee. Okay? Then <clears throat> what they're going to do is um, um, push up, go to the get their hips <coughs> to the opposite side of the chair. I'm going to turn around and face my crutches. Okay, but I'm going to first push up and sit basically on my braided choke hamper. Okay, then I'm going to take this leg, lift it up by the, um, by the uprights and put your leg one on top of the other like that. And they will, it will stay. From there, <clears throat> what I will do is turn around, face the back of the chair, do a push-up, and pull myself towards the chair, okay? So this is not easy. That's why I said the person has to be pretty good to do this. So I have one hand either on the armrest here or the armrest here, and I'm going to look down and to my right. Now from here, my knees are locked, my hips are unlocked, okay? So I have to get my hips locked. And I do that by um, using the armrest of the chair as an armrest, okay? Put my both hands on the armrest and get my head up so I can then lock one side. When I get my head up, that drops my hips forward. I lock one side. Then I can get one crutch to me. And now one side is locked, the other side is not. Okay? But that's more stable than no side's locked. Okay? And I can do a little push up and get closer to the crutch. I put my crutch in the center. Uh, between my feet, but in front. I'll roll for a minute. Okay? So I'm here, like this. Okay, if my crutch is here, um, then I, I don't have a central base of support. You always have to have a triangular base of support. This maintains that triangular base of support. Okay? So I'm here. And then I balance on that triangular base of support carefully and then lock the other one. Okay? Then you 
go ahead and you do whatever walking you're going to be doing. Okay? And then <coughs> to sit down, what you want to do is judge how long your thighs are. And you're going to come, line up with um, one of the armrests. So line up with one of the armrests. And in this situation now, <clears throat> there are various things that you can do, okay? Um, <clears throat> but what you need to do is essentially you're gonna, <coughs> you need to get your hips unlocked, and you, you need to get rid of one crutch. So I'm gonna unlock um, my inside hip. I'm gonna central, make the crutch, put the crutch centered. Okay, unlock the ins the this is the inside hip because it's going to the center of my turn. Unlock the inside hip as soon as that's unlocked. I'll get rid of that. And then it doesn't matter as long as I'm up. Okay, <laughs> then I'm gonna turn. Remember my inside my inside hip is unlocked. Now I'm gonna center. The crutch, so oh, my weight is on the axilla of the crutch, but also on the armrest of the chair. Unlock the other side. At this point, I'm very, very unstable. Okay? In this unstable position, you have to take out your crutch and hold it cane style, like this. Okay? Now, if I look down or sneeze, I'm falling. Okay? I put the crutch way back there, turn my hand, because I'm like this, turn my hand into the pivot, okay? Both my hips are unlocked, and I'm going to look down into which side my hips are going to go this way. Okay, so I look down to the left, and twirl, wine twirl, okay? Unlock one, unlock the other, okay? So, <clears throat> there are some very dangerous parts of this, and um, <clears throat> the dangerous parts are essentially when I am locking or unlocking my hips, because if, if I am in this position, I don't have a good base of support at all. So I can come out this way or I can twist out that way. The <clears throat> most difficult part of this for the therapist is to keep it safe, to be there for the person, but not to overguard. Because <clears throat> if you start to twirl the hips for them, you don't have the right timing. So it's just being there um, with them, okay? Um, so, let me show you what the guarding would be like. Uh, Josh, you have crutches around? 